Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and today we are going to talk about how to install Udo 18 for development on Ubuntu machine. So before starting the video, let's uh, discuss what are the requirements that are needed for Udo installation. So first of all, you need Python version 3.10 or higher, Git for version control, pip for managing Python packages and Postgres for database management. And the last one is PySharm for development and for customization. So let's go to the screen and we will discuss in detail that how you can set up Udo 18 for development on your Ubuntu machine. So in order to install Udo 18, first of all, we need to install all the dependencies. So the first step that I would recommend is uh, to go to the Udo documentation. So first of all, you need to write uh, Udo docs in the browser. And then you need to click on the first link. So here it will uh, redirect you to the Udo documentation. Here you need to click on the install Udo and then uh, source installation. So you need to read these uh, documentation in order to understand that what are the requirements and which version is required for which uh, Udo version. So you can follow these steps to install any, any Udo version. But first of all, you need to understand that what are the requirements for that specific version. So for, for example, we are going to install Udo 18. So we can see that here it is written that uh, for Udo 18, the minimum Python requirement is 3.10. So if the Python is not 3.10, you will face uh, problems. Okay. And uh, the next step is uh, to update your system. So in order to update your system, uh, we just need to open the terminal first terminal so here you need to run the command sudo apt update so this will update the system and then we need to run the another command for the update now we need to run uh, sudo apt upgrade why this will take some time and after the installation is complete we will come back to uh, move to the next step okay so after uh, the updates we need to check uh, which python version is installed so in order to do so we need to write uh, python dash dash version and here uh, it says that uh, python is not installed so we need to check for python 3 Okay, and it says that uh, Python 3.10 installed, which is uh, which fulfill the requirements because we need Python 3.10 or more. Okay, and the next thing is that we need to install Git and a uh, pip. So in order to do so, we need to use the command sudo apt install uh, Git and Python 3 pip. Okay, hit enter and Y. So it will install a git for us and then pip for us to uh, git for version control and pip for uh, Python packages. So basically git is needed to download the Udo source code. Uh, we can download it from the browser directly uh, by going into the repository. But uh, the most uh, optimized way is to use the git to download just the specific branch that we need. Okay, so this is complete. Now we need to install Postgres uh, for database management. So we will go to uh, Udo documentation and we need to copy this command from for the Postgres installation. So let me copy it and then put in the terminal. Like this. Why? So now the database is installed. So the basic requirements, uh, the requirements that are needed for Udo 18 are done. Now we need to uh, install PYCharm and then we will configure Udo. So I have already installed PYCharm. Uh, so if you haven't, you need to install it, which is very easy. So after installation of PYCharm, you need to click on the create new project to create a new project. Here you need to add the name of the project, which is in my case, Udo 18. And uh, here you just need to select the Python version, which is uh, 3.10, which is the latest version. Okay, so create the project. 
So once the project is created, you will uh, see this uh, screen. And let me just cancel this. And here is the virtual environment that already created for this uh, uh, for this project. So here we need to pull Udo source code. So in order to do so, uh, we need to right click here and then we need to open the terminal here uh, in the uh, PyCharm in order to get the and download the Udo source code. So the command that we need to use here is uh, just to download 18 branch. So in order to uh, do so, we need to git clone and here uh, the command is HTTPS. So basically here we need to enter the link that uh, where the Udo repository is allocated. So it is uh, HTTPS and then www.github.com Udo and then Udo. Okay. And then depth one branch. Sorry. Here we need to add the name of the directory which we want to create a new one. Okay, hit enter. So we made a mistake. So let me see. Okay, so here is the mistake that we have done. We need to add a dash here like this. Hit enter. So this command will download uh, the Udo source code that is only specific for uh, branch Udo 18. So this uh, depends on the internet speed uh, and it will just take some time to download all the source code. So once it is downloaded, then we will move to the next step. So uh, this this will just take some time. So we can perform the next step uh, so that uh, we can save time. So uh, we need to create uh, a database user in order to uh, like create the databases. So for this purpose, we need to use this command, which is on the Udo official documentation. So just paste the command here and we need to add the username here. So is we are going to install Udo 18. So let me just write here Udo 18 and this is it. And then the next command is uh, to uh, give the access of create DB. Okay. And then uh, paste it and just hit enter the same username, which we have already added uh, 18. So could not connect. Uh, okay. So we need to switch the user to uh, Postgres like this. And then we need to enter this command. Okay, it is done. And then exit. Okay, we are back to uh, this normal user. So uh, it just uh, cancelled because of the internet issue so if you face this issue you can just uh, hit enter you can just run the command again to download the Udo source code okay so we can see that the Udo source code is downloaded we can close this terminal okay and here a new folder is created if we go into it it will show you all the directories that are for Udo now we can run uh, the Udo from the uh, terminal, but as we have already installed it in the PyCharm, so we will uh, create the configuration file uh, in order to install it. Uh, so this is the Udo directory where uh, all the source code is located. So we will uh, create the configuration directory outside it. So we can name it uh, config. And then inside the config directory, we will create the file for Udo configuration, which we can say like uh, Udo18.conf like this. So here uh, in this file, we need to add all the configuration. So if you don't know what are the parameters that are needed, so we can uh, check it in the Debian file inside Udo. And let me just uh, open it. So here, uh, let me just copy all this and paste in our uh, configuration file like this and then we can close this file okay so here uh, the db user that we created is uh, udo18 okay and db password is not set so here we need to add the add path 
So the add-ons path is uh, here. These are the add-ons. Like in order to do so, we need to right click here and copy the path. So we can either add uh, the root content path or we can uh, add the full path. So I will just add this path uh, just like this and then paste it. Okay, this is it. Then we need to add the configuration here. But first we need to find the path of the configuration file. So here we can find the path to the configuration file like this. Uh, we will uh, copy it like this and then you need to click here edit configuration and add new so select python uh, here add udo 18 is the name of the configuration we need to add at the path to the bin here bin file udo bin file so it should be inside udo and this is the bin file we need to select it and then here we need to add the path to the configuration file, which is uh, this one with the C parameter. Apply and then OK. So these are the simple steps. And uh, once the configuration is done, OK. So after setting this configuration file, uh, we need to go to the Udo documentation and then we need to install these uh, Python dependencies. So let me copy this command. We need to open the terminal uh, from this directory, which is the Udo community directory, and then open the terminal and then just paste the command. So hit enter. So it will install all the Python dependencies within this uh, virtual environment, and then we can uh, run the Udo. Okay, so we got an error message that uh, the dependencies not, were not installed correctly. So I think we missed uh, one command, which is this one. So let me just run this command to install uh, it. Now let me run this uh, install command to install uh, all the requirements again to see if it is working or not. So now you can see that all the requirements has been installed successfully. This is uh, first time it failed because uh, we uh, we missed to install these uh, packages so now it is installed and now we can uh, just uh, cancel this uh, terminal and let's wait for updating this uh, uh, interpreter okay so now let me click this run button to run udo in pycharm and here you will get the logs uh, okay so here we got the error message that uh, for the peer uh, authentication failed. So I will uh, just, uh, I have already explained this in another video. I will add the link here at the top. So you can, you just need to check out that video to uh, solve this issue. Okay, so let me restart uh, the Udo service from the PYCharm. Okay, and I hope it will run fine. Now let me open the terminal and here add localhost 8069 which is the default port and let's see. So these are the logs which will show you what is happening uh, behind and if you have any error messages you can just easily debug it and easily solve it if you get any error messages. Okay so let's uh, create a database who do uh, discussions admin admin and create okay so here in the terminal you will get uh, all the database related queries and all the logs related to the database that what is happening behind uh, and here you will also get the errors and warnings in order to debug uh, and solve the issue. So if you get any uh, internal server error on the browser, you can just uh, check these uh, logs and you will see that what the problem is. Okay, so uh, this will clear the database and this that, that's it. It is very simple to install. So this is it for this video. If you uh, find this video useful, Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.